Hi, welcome back for another video this week with me. Um, so the month of May has officially come. Um, so our weather hasn't exactly been too warm. It's been a little bit unpredictable. Um, but living in Michigan, we most definitely have become used to that. Um, so what I want to do is just talk a little bit about the month of May and just some of the lesser known things about the month of May. Um, and hopefully you'll be able to learn something new. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into all the information I found. So May is actually the third and last month of um, the spring season. So May is actually known as the month of transition. Um, most of the time when May comes, the weather begins to start getting warmer um, and the springtime rain has, for the most part, been um, come and gone. Um, like I said, we're having some odd weather this year. Now that May is um, here, we're definitely getting more rain, um, which is okay. There's not much we can do about that. So the month of May is actually um, named after the Latin word Maeus. Um, so this actually goes back to the ancient Greeks. The ancient Greeks actually used May to honor their goddess, um, their Greek goddess of growth and fertility. <clears throat> so growth and fertility is also already associated with spring. Um, a lot of times baby animals are born, a lot of babies are born, and everything starts getting green and growing, right? So May used to um, actually be called a different name in the old English times. So it wasn't actually called May until about the 15th century AD. Um, so back then, it was even referred to as um, the month of three milkings. So the month of three milkings. So can you figure out why it may have been called the month of three milkings? So the month of three milkings, farmers would say that you could also um, milk your cows three times in one day. That's a lot of milk, right? So I think this is because a lot of times by later spring, animals have gotten bigger and they typically need more milk to keep growing and stay strong. So May is also surrounded by a lot of superstition. Um, there's a lot of little sayings and things about May that you may have heard. Um, so they say that you should never get married in May, that it's a terrible time to get married in May. Um, even though it's a very beautiful season and it tends to be warm and nice and things are in full bloom, um, people still say that. So there's actually a saying that says, um, marry in May and you'll rue the day. So it's kind of a warning. I'm not sure why they said this, but there must have been a good reason back then. Um, there's also a Cornish superstition that says buying a new broom in May will actually um, bring you bad luck. So what they say is that you'll kind of sweep away all the progress and the things that you've been kind of working on holding on to if you buy a new broom in May. Um, they also say that you shouldn't wash your blankets either. Um, somewhere along the same lines of, you know, keeping things that are comfortable and familiar to you. So who would have thought? So no worries though. So according to people in Europe, there's actually some ways um, and some things that you can do, some traditions that will actually help to improve your May um, or maybe just bring in some better luck for you. So in May, what they would do is put up what they called a May pole. Um, so people in the UK would put up these long poles and at the tops of them, they would um, attach garland, flowers, um, brightly colored fabrics and things. And what they would do is the people in the town would come around and they would do dances and ceremonies and things around these maypoles. Um, it was just said to bring good luck and I'm sure it was a lot of fun too. So who are my movie buffs? Um, I don't know about you, but I typically enjoy this movie in particular. So May, if you are a Star Wars fan, is typically the month that is a special time for um, fans worldwide. Um, so you may have been told um, on May 4th, may the 4th be with you. Um, so it's kind of a play on words. In the film, they actually say, may the force be with you. So what the force is, is kind of like a magic. 
um, that the Jedis, which are like their warriors, are able to use to move things and do just amazing things. So May 4th um, is May the 4th be with you, kind of like May the Force be with you, like what they say in the movies. Um, so that obviously is um, made up, right? That's cinematic um, productions and things. Those aren't real. Somebody thought that up and made a wonderful movie out of that. Um, but May actually is kind of associated with things going on in space. Um, so in 1870, there was actually a meteor shower observed um, called, ooh, let's see if I can get this one right, Eta Aquarid. So this um, Eta Aquarid discovered in 1870 was a meteor shower that only passes Earth between April 19th and May 28th. Um, so the best time to get a glimpse of this is actually just before dawn. Um, and people say the closer you are to the equator, um, the easier it is to actually see the comet. So it's pretty amazing. I've never seen a comet myself, but I can imagine it would definitely be a sight to um, definitely see and to hold on to. It probably makes some good memories. So anybody born in May, what does May say about you? Um, so it said that people that are born in May have a greater chance of being more successful in life and are better with experience in love. Um, they often like to show more love. Um, so this is not like a scientific thing. There's no science behind this. Um, but it does say that people born in May tend to understand the importance, the importance of love for others um, and just the importance of being successful. So I think a lot of people know that love and success is important, but for whatever reason, it is more important and dear to um, a person's heart that is born in May. So people born in May actually have an emerald um, birthstone. So the emerald birthstone is actually green in color. Um, like any other birthstone, there is some variation, some of them being darker, lighter, and things like that. Um, but the emerald is a very dark green um, stone. You may think of, for comparison, the Emerald City, if you've ever seen um, the Wizard of Oz. It's a dark colored green, right? Um, so it has been always associated with fertility and rebirth, um, which makes sense. A lot of times when things start turning green, well, it means that things are coming back to life, right? Um, so also, May has two zodiac signs, which are the Taurus and the Gemini. So people born under the Taurus sign are said to be very ambitious and smart and even trustworthy. Um, and people born under the Gemini sign are said to be very passionate, adaptable, and smart. Um, so I must say that I do think that these things are true. Me personally, I have four um, birthdays in the month of May in my family. And they actually do describe those people that I'm close with. So thank you guys so much for joining me for a little info about May. Um, hopefully you're able to learn something new. And if you like this video, please like it. And as always, we're looking for comments um, to see what people would actually like to see in the future. I most definitely hope you guys enjoy all of my videos and hope to keep things interesting.